At the end of each year, my family gathers at our cottage to celebrate the holidays. And there we take part in one of the most Canadian of traditions. Skating and playing hockey on the lake. Okay, maybe preparing the ice is as much a tradition as the actual skating. We have to shovel all the snow, hand auger a hole in the ice, and then spread bucket after bucket after bucket of cold lake water to smooth out the rough ice surface. It's pretty low tech. It's pretty exhausting, but it's fun. There is one problem with our tradition, and it's not the lack of a Zamboni. The problem is that these days, we can't trust that the lake will be solidly frozen by the end of December. I think about our tradition whenever I read or watch people who are openly skeptical of the evidence for climate change. A lot of this skeptic community focuses on the global temperature record. The supposed problems with this data was the focus of that silly email scandal from a couple years ago. The truth is, even if Daniel Fahrenheit had never invented the mercury thermometer, we'd know that the climate was changing. There are countless physical and biological signs that point to a global rise in temperature unprecedented in the recent history of our planet. Glaciers melting, snow cover declining, animals migrating, fish migrating, plants flowering earlier, plants growing for longer, the list goes on and on. One of the most obvious signs is the changes in lake ice. For decades, and in some cases even centuries, people have been recording the dates that lakes freeze in the fall and break up again in the spring. In some cases, this work is done by scientists, but most of the time it is done by cottagers and other people that just like to watch the lake. And in every part of the planet that has lakes that freeze, whether it is Canada, the northern United States, Scandinavia, Russia, or Japan, we are finding the same thing. Lakes are freezing later in the fall and breaking up earlier in the spring. And sure, there is variability from one year to the next, but the decreasing trend is very clear. The ice season is getting shorter. The next generation in my family is just now learning to skate. But as time passes, the odds of us celebrating the end of the year out on the ice will get smaller and smaller. And without a serious effort to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, the skating tradition in our family and countless other Canadian families might just become a thing of the past. <laughs>